It has been such a journey. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne, acne positivity and just making you feel good in your own skin. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join the channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. This has been such a long awaited video. So I'm going to be walking you through the big changes that have gone on with my skin, kind of giving you the overall summary. I kind of did a full like video a while back kind of on some of the changes I was seeing and just a bit of an update on where I'm at in that journey, um, where I'm at kind of focusing on trying to find some answers and where I'm at with my hormonal acne um, and my journey. We're going to be talking about Accutane today. We're going to be talking about um, what I've kind of gone through with talking to doctors and all of that. There is a lot to kind of unravel in this video, so we're going to get right on into it. Grab some tea. I have mine here. I've made my little acne, um, hormonal acne tea concoction. I've been drinking spearmint tea and nettle tea basically every single day to help with my hormonal acne and we'll get into this later, but this has really, really helped. So grab a drink, get cozy, cause this is going to be a long one. Oh, you tell me stories, you tuck me in, and the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters in my shoes. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to kind of take you guys back, kind of give you a brief overview if you're new to the channel. Um, so basically, I started getting hormonal acne, hormonal and cystic acne around the age of 13. I am now 21. And I first started getting these pimples really, you know, in this kind of cheek area. That's kind of where I first started seeing this acne. And of course, right away, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, like a bit concerned because it was very painful. And that typical like cystic acne that's kind of deeper under the skin. Um, around that age, I did get some laser treatments and um, some micro needling done to kind of help with that acne and that did help my acne did go down especially during the summer it typically went down and as my hormones kind of you know leveled out from being like a teenager and then I had like regular breakouts you know here and there typically more of those hormonal ones obviously I still got like teenage acne and those smaller ones too but it was very hormonal based I would say just because they were those like larger cystic pimples as time went on my acne kind of fluctuated a lot throughout my life i do remember though in university first year university i was 18 at the time my acne really blew up in my mouth area right around um, my chin and this lower part of my face it was really really painful and pretty deep and a few forehead ones kind of here and there but mostly around the mouth those kind of cystic really really painful cysts Shortly after this, I did decide to go on hormonal birth control. I was on birth control pills. I took Lanisa 28, so it was a 28 day pill where you take seven days of pills for three weeks at the different doses and then the last week was the placebo um, and I was on this pill for about two years now I was still getting acne here and there definitely you know um, it would get triggered more when I was stressed or wasn't sleeping well or around my like cycle but all in all my acne did get reduced a significant amount you know there were only a few times that I really had those painful cysts when I was like in final seasons or super stressed um, and had like a lot going on but overall my skin was really clear and if you look back at my social media look back at my youtube or tiktok you can see last year my skin was super super clear especially um like if you look back even a few months ago like around like february march it was like really really clear what happened is in january of 2022 so this same year back in january i decided to come off of the pill i just stopped taking it one week i was just like i'm over this and i'm gonna do another video where i kind of get into the details of why i decided to stop taking birth control but it just wasn't the right fit for me um i didn't like what it was doing to my body i didn't like what it was doing to my mind i didn't feel like myself on the pill and about two years of taking it i decided to come off of pill and just stop taking it um this was like mid january everything was fine coming off of it i literally started to feel like myself again like very shortly after getting off the pill but that's a story for another time and if you look back at videos my skin was super super clear like february march april like that's when it was like at its prime i would say very very smooth very clear like basically zero breakouts you know the occasional pimple here and there if i um use a product that triggered it or didn't get much sleep or ate like bad for a week or went out drinking something like that you know but very very clear for the most part nothing like super cystic hormonal anything like that then in may i started seeing a bit more acne come out 
and I thought it was because of stress or just you know like changes and I knew that coming off the pill I would have hormonal changes um, obviously you know you're pumping hormones into your body for two years straight your body doesn't have a natural cycle anymore it's being kind of replaced by the synthetic pill um, and you're that pill is kind of creating this cycle for you. You know, you're taking estrogen on a daily basis. So obviously when you come off of it, you know, you've been on this cycle taking these hormones. Then when you come off of it, boom, like your hormones are just gonna be like thrown out of whack, right? If you think it's kind of like that bull whip effect, right? And it will take a while for that um, estrogen and the hormonal birth control to actually get out of your body and flush out. It takes about six months. So I was really confused around that May, June mark when I, my skin was literally like blowing up with acne. I was like, going on but then I realized hey we've kind of reached that six month mark I've been on birth control for six months and now my skin is freaking out um, and I think it's due to hormones because it was very cystic and the acne was like very spread out on my face it was spreading like wildfire almost it started off you know around my mouth where I'd usually get it and then it really spread to my forehead I've never had this much forehead acne in my entire life really spread to there then it started to spread up onto my cheeks and even onto my temples and I was like oh my goodness like what is going on I've never broken out like this in my life but I would say you know if we look at kind of not only the signs but the dates as well I would definitely make the conclusion that it is kind of that effect of coming off of birth control and my hormones kind of being thrown into a whack and at this point you know hormones were all over the place in my opinion and I was trying to kind of figure out what's going on is this because of my hormones is this a gut related issue because of the birth control um is it a different issue that maybe i don't know about you know because your skin and your body really tells you when something's wrong and that can definitely show through your skin although i've had acne my whole life i never had it to this extent so of course i was concerned and wanted to um try to find some answers and the thing that for me I want to find answers the most for is not the appearance. I mean, I, I spread acne positivity on a daily basis, on a, you know, like hourly basis to you guys. I always encourage you and I encourage myself to feel good in your own skin, no matter the acne or the breakouts. But for me, it was more of a health concern than anything. I just wanted to make sure that everything was good. If I was all good and I just had acne or I had a lot of scarring left, so be it, you know, but it was more that health concern um, that I really wanted to get down to the center of and see if it was a hormonal related issue. So I um, booked a doctor's appointment back in September and I went to this doctor's appointment um, with just a lot of questions. I just wanted to find some answers and kind of try to, you know, knock down maybe some things through like a blood test, um, maybe an allergy test even, a hormone test, just to kind of see, okay, where are we kind of at? Could this be PCOS? Could this be a thyroid issue? Like, what is going on? Let's just kind of eliminate some options out to see if we can find an answer to why I'm breaking out like this. So. Um, I booked this doctor's appointment and let's just get into how that all went. All right, guys, this marks day one of trying to get some answers behind why my skin has been breaking out so much. My hormonal acne, or at least what I think is a hormonal acne breakout that has been going on the past few months. So I have my first doctor's appointment today. I'm going to be asking just questions upon questions about questions. I want to get different tests done. I want to really get to the root behind this. I don't want to just be put on Accutane because, well, we've talked about that already. Um, don't want to go back on birth control because I feel like those are all kind of band-aid solutions. I really want to figure out what's going on with my body. I'm going to ask, you know, regarding a blood test, um, allergies, like uh, either topical or like food allergies too, um, whether it's like a detergent. You know, I really want to get down to the bottom of this, do some type of allergy test, do some blood testing, test my hormone levels, see if it maybe has to do with like PCOS or a thyroid issue that could be impacting a hormonal imbalance. Um, checking my gut health. Birth control could have definitely set that off and caused, you know, a, a gut health issue. Um, I want to check, you know, just everything. We're going to ask a lot of questions, so let's do it. So I just finished up my doctor's appointment. I went in to talk about how my skin is doing. I explained that I came off of birth control about what has it been like eight, nine months ago and I explained how I really did not like how I felt while I was on birth control so that's why I came off of it and that my acne spiked um I tried to explain that I'm pretty sure it's like due to hormonal issues because once I came off the birth control my acne flared up really intensely so I assumed that it had to be hormonal but 
I was basically told that there's no way I have hormonal acne since that is for people who are in their 30s to 40s and there's no way that that could be what I have. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to get emotional, but basically like I was trying to explain that it might be like a gut related issue or diet or an allergy and I was trying to get some different tests to see like an underlying issue because I don't want to go on Accutane due to like the different side effects of it and um they asked me to remove my mask and the first thing they were like oh my god like your skin is so bad you need to go on Accutane because it's just gonna keep getting worse and I was trying to like pull myself together not to cry like at the doctor and I, I'm <laughs> sorry that I'm crying now it's just like it feels really defeating and um hearing someone like you're going you know for help and hearing someone look at your skin like that is just like really hurtful um and they basically like they prescribed me two things um one oral medication and one topical i paid like 170 dollars for this stuff and they recommend you know made me a referral to go to a dermatologist but they're like your only choice is accutane they're like there's no underlying issues like it has to be Accutane is the only solution and you have to go on either birth control or get blood tests or get an IUD or something while you're on it of course because you can't get pregnant while you're on Accutane but I I was talking about the side effects of Accutane and they were like listen if you want to fix your skin like you need to take Accutane and um and they were just basically saying that like I asked, like, what if my acne just comes back after the Accutane? And they're like, well, that's just that. Like, either you want your skin to look nice or it's just going to keep getting worse. But I just feel, like, very unheard. And I just need to come on here and kind of vent and talk to my community because I don't want anyone else to feel that way going to the doctor and asking for help. Like, acne is okay and it doesn't change your value or your, you know, worth but uh that was my experience i'm gonna keep documenting this and hopefully i find some answers other than um accutane but i'll keep you guys updated all right so i am back for a little update um i want to take a little time between the appointment and when i sat down to do this update to kind of go over to kind of just absorb my thoughts since right after the appointment i was quite upset and i'll get into that but i kind of jumped on tiktok and made a video there and um yeah, I just had to kind of take some time to recollect and really absorb how I felt. So I basically went in and I started to explain that I came off, um, you know, the whole story. I came off birth control nine months ago. My hormonal acne kind of spiked up because of that. And um, basically right away, the doctor said, you, can't, you don't have hormonal acne. Hormonal acne is only for people between 30 and 40. There's no way you have hormonal acne. And I was kind of taken aback by that because I was like, I was pretty sure I had hormonal acne, especially because I was put on a hormonal birth control. I came off of that hormonal birth control and that's what spiked up my acne again. So to me, that correlation is very clear and I thought that was a pretty clear thing, but I was going in there with the open mind that there could be other factors. So I brought up um, gut health. He said there's, brought up gut health. He said there's no way that it's that. I brought up, you know diet and maybe some allergies he said there's no way it's that either he basically said that um you can't get acne from an allergy but he also did say foods can trigger acne but didn't want to give me a allergy test of any sort like that um i asked about harmony regulation he said we talked about pcos for a bit he said i definitely don't have pcos but if I did have PCOS, the only solution to that would be going back on a hormonal birth control. So I don't know, I just felt like I wasn't really being listened to or heard. Um, and he said, this is what you have is just acne. And at this point he asked me to remove my mask so he could take a look at my skin. And I removed my mask off my face and immediately he goes, oh my gosh, that's really bad. You need to go on Accutane immediately because you're just like ruining your skin. The longer you wait, it's just going to get worse and worse and you're going to get deeper scarring and it's just, it's really bad. You need to get on Accutane. And I was really, I could feel myself kind of shutting down in this moment and kind of putting up walls and closing down and not feeling like I could um, 
defend my points and really go in there and demand like for what I wanted and these these tests to be done I felt myself really shutting down and he kind of came closer and looked at some of the scarring on my forehead here and he was like this is bad you you need to get on Accutane and I basically explained I don't want to go back on Accutane because I don't want to go back on a birth control a hormonal birth control he said there are obviously other birth control options I agreed with that but I also said all in all, I don't want to go on Accutane due to the side effects that come with it. And he said, look, every medication is going to have a side effect. You need to either accept that if you want your skin to get better or it's going to keep looking like this and just getting worse, which really sucks. I feel like my skin's been doing pretty good these past few weeks. So I was like, oh, OK. Um, and I said, like, I don't feel like Accutane is really going to fix the underlying issue of my acne. And he said, there's no underlying issue. It's just acne. Um, Accutane is the only solution for you and you need to just get over the side effects basically and I said like okay I go on Accutane now I feel like it's kind of a band-aid effect we would put the put me on Accutane and then six months later when I have to get off of it what then my acne could come back and he's like why are you thinking about that why aren't you just focusing on what you can do now and what you can do now is try to get rid of your acne and I'm like but I have to take that in consideration since if I go on Accutane for six months, it messes me up or I have whatever side effects and then I go off of it and we're back to square one. I need to consider that, right? He said, it's okay. Like we would just test your liver every month to make sure there's not like significant damage. And I was just sitting there and I'm like, am I like actually hearing this? Like, is this real life? Like someone pinch me, is this real life? You know? And I think I'm telling the story a lot more calm right now because I've already kind of gotten everything out on over on TikTok. Um, when I was just really like emotional and just kind of freaking out about all of this. But that was kind of the conclusion there. He referred me to a dermatologist. I don't know where I'm going to go with that road because I really am trying to avoid Accutane as much as I can. And that's why I'm documenting all of this. But he did prescribe me two things. I did buy them. I spent like $170 on these things. I don't know if I'm going to start using them yet, especially the oral medication. So he prescribed me with deoxycycline. This is basically an antibiotic. It's used for bacterial infections, it's used for rosacea. It's an oral medication. You take one capsule a day. These are what they look like. And he gave me a month's supply of these. He said take them for a month, once a day. And he basically said, this is not gonna be enough for your skin's condition, but that's fine. And then he did give me an oral medication. This I might use um because it, it's literally fine it's a dapoline and benzoyl peroxide ingredients that i'm already familiar with and it's a topical gel three zero point three percent dapoline 2.5 percent benzoyl peroxide so i think i might just use this because it would kind of help with more of that service acne so that's okay it's more of a prescription higher grade product than something i can get over the counter so that's fine i'm gonna do some research on the um deoxycycline see what I think of it and then I'll update you guys there but I just wanted to kind of speak out on my experience try not to get emotional again but I'm really talking about all this because I want to be open with you guys about it and if you guys are going through the same thing I want you to not feel alone um people are going to talk like that to you not everyone's gonna see you and try to be acne positive with you and consider your feelings but Sometimes there will be doctors that kind of just see you as a number and as a patient and look at you like a solution that they're trying to fix and uh, really easily prescribe medication without even trying to look into a, do a deeper rooted issue like how easily he was just suggesting Accutane for me when I specifically said I do not want to go on it. Um, and I wanted to avoid birth, birth control as well, but uh, that was the outcome of the appointment. Not the best experience. I am a little... Um, disappointed in that experience but that's okay that's just part of this journey and um i'm happy i'm documenting all of this and kind of walking you guys through it but i'm not giving up i don't want to go on accutane so i'm not giving up on this journey we are going to figure out what is going on with my acne and what those underlying issues are so i'm going to take you guys along the ride and let's just keep fighting Whew. so obviously it's been some time it's been around two months um where am I at now? I posted that TikTok, you know, out of frustration. I think maybe I could have waited a little bit of time to kind of cool down, collect my thoughts, but I, I was frustrated and I felt like it was a message that I really needed to talk about immediately. So that's why I posted that TikTok. Um, and as you can see, even in the video that I was kind of more cooled down um, and I was talking at home afterwards, you can see even that I was still pretty emotional and pretty hurt by the experience that I just had. 
and I was very blown away with the response I got from you guys on TikTok and on Instagram. I was getting so many messages and so many DMs from you guys telling me about your personal experience with Accutane or doctors and um, just kind of this whole topic in general. And I was blown away with the fact that so many young people and, you know, people of all ages are prescribed Accutane so easily um, that they, you know, it, it, it's like the immediate thing that a lot of doctors go to and the reason I didn't want to go to on Accutane because for me, it was pretty clear that my acne was hormonal. You know, it made sense to me. I was on a pill for two years and I did not, I barely had any acne. I come off that pill and six months later, I start breaking out worse than I ever had in my life. The puzzle pieces make sense to me, you know? So being almost gaslit by, my, by this doctor telling me, no, you don't have hormonal acne. Actually, you can't have hormonal acne unless you are in your 30s or 40s and having those hormonal changes. And I was sitting there like, is my whole life lie <laughs> you know like i was like i know things about my body sometimes we know the best about what our body is going through um and then just this whole conversation you know of being asked why i came off hormonal birth control um if it was because i was trying to get pregnant and i was like no it's just it didn't work for me i didn't like how it made me feel and kind of being told that you know you should feel comfortable to suffer with the consequences of a medication because all medication has consequences and side effects and sometimes you just need to take up those consequences to be able to have the good of it of course all medication has side effects i obviously know how that's, that works but i don't think that your quality of life should decrease just to be able to take a medication for your skin to be clear you know what i mean so for me that was always always the thing about accutane and i know it's worked for a lot of people i know that a lot of people have had really great success with it and not many side effects but for me i did not want to put my body through that i did not personally want to go on accutane my acne was never an issue i had it wasn't a physical thing for me like it wasn't like an appearance thing you know I wouldn't just go on Accutane just to get rid of the acne, just to have clear skin. It was more me trying to find answers to my health. So having like Accutane like literally shoved down my throat or having the suggestion of it literally shoved down my throat through this experience, it was, it was very challenging because I think it is a very band-aid solution, especially for someone with hormonal acne, you know? If I did go on Accutane, first of all, I'd have to go on another birth control method. You do have to be on some type of birth control method or you know to make sure that you're preventing any sort of pregnancy while you're on Accutane so I've already had a bad experience with birth control I did not want to go on it again I know there's other birth control methods out there but to me a hormonal birth control was not an option for me with Accutane not only that but there's also so many side effects with the actual drug itself um, it's a very very harsh medication and I don't think the effects of it are talked about seriously enough I think they're kind of blown over and it's kind of sold to be this like miracle You know medication that can help with acne and yes I think it can be very beneficial in some cases But when someone's acne is hormonal, which in my case, I still do believe mine is hormonal I can like feel it I can just like I just know that it is based on my hormones because I see those changes you know when my hormones have a change and I, there's fluctuation in that that's when I break out so I see those trends in in my routines and I think if I did go on Accutane okay like my skin would maybe clear up but what happens six months from now when I have to stop taking Accutane and my hormones are still the issue so to me it was very important that i try to get to the bottom of the actual hormones and see where to go from there so yeah this was a very like eye awakening experience um i'm very happy i went through this experience and i'm very happy that i was able to share this story and connect with so many young people who maybe had this bad experience and just decided to go on Accutane or weren't sure and didn't feel like they had a voice in this. And I think it's important to be able to say no and know what's right for your body. And if you think Accutane's not for you, that is okay and you don't have to take it. Um, I think it was very hard and out of all people, I'm happy I went through it because I have dealt with acne for a really long time. I have this social platform. I know how to deal with negativity um, and people's comments towards my skin. And I don't think that doctors should, you know, look at you as a case they're trying to solve or something that they're just trying to fix. I went in there with a lot of concerns against my health and was 
um, told to go on Accutane after I explicitly said the reasons I don't want to go on to it. So yes, of course, I, I hope to be kind of listened to a little bit more in that situation, but things happen and I learned a lot from this experience, but I wanted to give you guys the update. Um, right now, I am on this journey and my skin is doing so much better than it was back in September when I got this footage and went through this whole experience. If you look at my skin right now, obviously it does look like there's a lot there, but honestly, there are very, very few active breakouts. I have this one right here on my cheek, but um, the rest is a lot of scarring. So of course that will take lots of time to heal and I'll be documenting that as well with the methods I'm going to use to kind of take down that scarring but I have been regulating my hormones more naturally lately and I've seen the difference like instantly. So, so much improvement. I do wanna do a full video on everything I've been doing diet-wise, schedule-wise, just overall life-wise to help regulate my hormones more naturally and get those answers that I didn't really get right away in this experience. That's okay, it's a learning curve and not everything's gonna work for everyone. I'm just on this journey. Um, it's gonna be a long journey, but I do wanna document it and take you guys along the ride. As I said, I've been using nettle, spearmint, um, tea, dandelion a lot too. I've been taking nettle supplements, which actually do help regulate your hormones naturally. I will do a full video explaining all of that and how that all works, but I do think it's very important to learn and educate yourself and if you take anything out of this video today i hope that that is it if you feel like accutane is for you and you've done your research and you feel comfortable going on it you've you know talked to maybe multiple doctors to get multiple opinions then it might be a good idea for you to go on it and if you see negative effects you know don't stay on it forever get off of it and find something that will work for you but do your research um i think that was a really important part for me is I could have, you know, blindly just taken the prescription and been like, okay, hey, let's just get on Accutane. But I'm happy I did my research because it just wasn't a um, medication that I felt was suited for me. And that's okay. And I'm on this journey to kind of helping regulate my hormones more in a natural way. So that's what I'm going to continue doing and documenting with you. I do want to give you an update on the two prescriptions I did get that day. I kind of bought them like on a whim out of an emotional state i was like okay let me just like buy these and whatever um i still have not used them i have not opened them <laughs> to this day so kind of wasted my money there but um that's okay we learned from that experience and i am seeing really huge improvements in my skin from just more of these natural methods and using skincare that um is really just helping me kind of you know support my skin while going through this skincare is not going to be the miracle worker here but it can kind of help just support and help with the healing process as well so yeah that is the update guys Whew, that was a lot of talking a lot of explaining but hopefully you took something out of this video um hopefully this clarified some things and gave you kind of an overall view on what i've been going through these past few months um i would love to hear about your experiences whether it's with accutane or with acne you can leave them down below in the comments i would love to kind of connect with you guys on that level or you can join my discord server we talk all about skin positivity on there and you'll be able to not only connect with me but other people going through similar things um in regards to acne and their skin journeys so i'll have that link down below in the description if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video and if you do want to watch more content of mine or see more you can go follow me on instagram and tiktok i do post like pretty much daily on there so you should definitely go check it out i love you guys all so so much thank you so much for taking along this ride and this skin journey with me it's been wonderful so far getting to connect with you guys and having you as my community as i go through all of these changes and kind of learn so much more about my skin and what it needs to be at its greatest so love you guys all so so much and i'll see you in the next video bye oh you tell me stories you tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters in my streets